Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Um, we're gonna go on another Eden run here. We're establishing an okay streak. We have Converter and we have Taurus. We have Curse of the Blind and we have little tiny Taurus now. YDN4 WFPE. I am going to rate this run at present a 5 out of 10. Maybe a 6 if you pushed me. Now you might say that seems a little harsh, but keep in mind a 10 is gonna be like, you know, Mom's Knife Mega, as we've had on some occasions, or at least Mega Anything, Mega Holy Mantle, etc. A 9 is like, I'd say like an 8 or a 9 is like destined to win, basically from the opening tip-off, unless you get, uh, you know, a reroll room, of course, which is, it, obviously that, that can apply to a run from a 1 to a 10, for that matter, but um, this one, what does it have going for it? Taurus can be pretty good, but it does carry a little bit of a speed downgrade over the norm. Converter can be good. Most of the time, it's probably going to be useless, but we might as well use it once here, I think. It's going to get a bomb in there, and it totally whiffed. Fantastic. Um, what would have been awesome for us is if we... Oh, God, I really thought we were about to get invincibility. What would have been awesome for us is if we picked up, um, like, a cube of meat or something along those lines. How deep is your love? But also, Jesus Christ, how long does it take in order to get Taurus actually active here. There we go. That was actually really good. You know what? I'm bumping it up to a six and a half. Taurus is good. Useful in situations where our damage is shitty. And honestly, our damage is kind of shitty here. Um, okay. And also, I'm playing like a, a fucking idiot. So, cool it. Take a deep breath. Thank God we had one extra HP, right? Or otherwise, we'd be in a just a hellish situation right now. Please stop shooting and also stop creating minions. Just stop existing for the most part, please. If you would... Be so kind as to do that, thank you. Okay, what do I want here? Give me Mr. Dolly and let me get some HP out of it. Stem cells. Also fine. Also fine. Um, I do want to crack into some extra HP here if possible. Some extra damage if possible. Extra spirit hearts wouldn't bum me out, but... For the most part, I think we've got the foundation of a winning run. I mean, going from 2 HP to 4 HP on one floor is above average. I'm stoked about that. And our damage stat is not so bad that I, like, can't accomplish anything. It's just worse than I'd like. I... Oh, God. Okay, run. Um, thank God the item room's up here. Please get Taurus active. It's really the rate of fire that's killing me. The damage from the actual shots seems okay. But I'm getting a little dicey on the whole, like, don't get hit by enemies department here. A one headless asshole back here rides away. Quite slow after Taurus pops as well. Oh, dude! Okay. Doesn't win us the run. But Little Brimstone is a really nice get. If nothing else, it's really good for my confidence. After taking a lot of damage there on enemies that it shouldn't be taking damage to. Like, the realization that we would have lost this run were it not for the fact that we had some extra HP is weighing on me heavily right now. However, we got a little Brim. It's a nice damage upgrade. Hopefully I can stop playing like an idiot. But also, now we have a little bit of extra, you know, potential to kill an enemy, which is good. Red hearts, please. These are not red hearts. I can't take this right now just on the off chance it's bad trip. It probably won't be, but it could be. Pandora's box. I think on this floor gives us a, a nice cache of consumables. We could use those consumables and then roll with the converter. It's a tough call though, I gotta admit. Because we could just use it for an, an extra boss room drop on the next floor, which, which of course seems like a little bit more fantastic for us. We gotta nestle it right here. And we got two spirit hearts out of it. I think at this point you say thanks for the spirit hearts, you don't convert them. We could convert them after a theoretical deal with the devil, but let's guarantee ourselves this deal with the devil as best as we possibly can first. And again, like, is it worth using Pandora's box to get into the item room if we need to get a key? It's tough to say. Because really what it ends up being is, what does Pandora's box give us? Minus converter plus one extra boss item. That's most of the time a pretty good trade, I'd say. Converter, the over-under on using it is probably pretty low. Sometimes it can even be bad, but, you know, that that's up to us. Um, 
But what do we gain if we use Pandora's box here? Well, we don't lose the converter. Effectively, we got keys and bombs out of a chest instead of getting Pandora's box. But we do lose the oppor- Ooh, god. Right, this is the enemy that fires like that. We do lose the opportunity to use Pan Pandora's box for more creative things later. Um, we get some HP to start with here. Really good deals with the devil. We definitely want both of these. And in a way, it kind of makes Converter a little bit more attractive, I think. We can get back to 4 HP or 3 HP with 2 Spirit Hearts. Which I think both of those have an interesting kind of... Uh, they have a compelling argument attached to them. So you know what? Sure. This is just an example of how, at least in my opinion, there's no... Well, there's not many absolutes in Isaac. And, and this was a situation in which it seemed to make a whole lot of sense to take Pandora's box down with us uh, for the future. If not uh, on the next floor then you know on the womb or something like that or on the cathedral uh but i think we gain a lot more by just uh by using it like this here and we are getting a lot of speed out of taurus holy crap uh i don't think i want to use a key to go to the shop just because we're already going to lose one key and now with converter we can go up to four hp with two spirit hearts or five hp with zero spirit hearts i like four hp with two spirit hearts that seems like a nice flexible mix right now that i can get down with i i feel like we ignore lard as much as it bums me out. This is an interesting puzzle box of kind of items and consequences right now. Lard is a speed downgrade, thus it nerfs Taurus. That's where we want to be right now, I think. Um, and if we get another Spirit Heart, that becomes another HP for us. And then if we get another two Spirit Hearts, that becomes HP for us, etc., etc. As long as we have HP protected um, by some Spirit Heart action, so we can get these deals with the Devil that are going to drive our offense forward. Two more keys. That's fine. We'll head down to the next floor. Not only is Lard bad because it nerfs Taurus, but also Taurus already nerfs our speed, so we get like an antagonistic effect between Taurus and Lard in that they're both speed downgrades, and uh, you don't want two speed downgrades. You don't want one speed downgrade unless your speed's already sorted, but two speed downgrades has the potential to, to neuter any run. Like, it doesn't matter how good your damage is if you can't get away from enemies. Well, it does matter, because if your damage is so good that before they can get close to you, they'll just evaporate into, you know, a pile of dust, that's one thing. That That is probably fine then. But, you know, your mileage may vary. But for now, pretty close to completing uh, a day that is just a spade of wins, and I'm pretty excited about it. You know, that's not super abnormal, but it's, it's always nice when you can have a day of a lot of Isaac recording and just uh, not lose. Feels good. You can tell this run is getting pretty solid because we're not really using Taurus very much. I'd be happy to, especially now that we have Guillotine coming with us here, but um, the fact that we don't have to use it very often is good. Now, we do have a Curse Room, and Curse Room is tempting. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this Curse Room, because we don't have... Well... I mean, I'm hesitant to lose the ability to convert, but we might get more Spirit Arts in here, or we might get something worth losing that ability to convert. So, uh, we got four pills. Basically, we traded um, a Spirit Heart for Mom's Coin Purse. And it worked out okay. I think we'll use the HP there. Um, the speed down is horrible. Don't get me wrong. I just said you don't want two speed downgrades. All I can say is thank God we didn't take lard. But we got one makes you smaller, which is like a mild benefit. And we got... Um, Balls of Steel, which is effectively a health up pill at this point, and we have an extra spirit art protecting us regardless. So, uh, as much as that speed down pill scares the shit out of me, I feel like knowing now if they were like, you have to take all four pills in a package deal, here's what they are, I'd probably still be like, sure, let's do it. I mean, speed tends to be pretty easy to come by, but I, I should be on edge just in case we get like, you know, Curse of the Blind and then hit with a, uh, a speed down item. That would be, that'd be nasty. But for now, I'm pleased with this. I would love to just go, like, super aggressive on these deals with the devil here. Child's Heart is fine. And you know what? Pestilence is cool, too. Maybe we'll actually get the ability... Not Pestilence, sorry. Uh, Peep is fine, too, here. Maybe we'll get the ability to actually use Taurus. We need more speed-ups if we're going to use Taurus, like, rigorously, which I honestly would really like to do. Because it's it's quite good damage, actually. But Oh, there we go. A speed upgrade. Speedball. Um, not the fastest we've ever been, but... Certainly, this is better. We've got unlimited bombs now. Let's check for second secret rooms. Pretty 
pretty adamant about finding those. Especially, actually, we could get a regular secret room uh, that gives us enough money to get something from the shop. But now, it, immediately, my conviction is dried up. Because <laughs> I'm like, this, this isn't worth it at all. We didn't find it immediately. What's the point? Uh, it's a little inherent laziness coming through. It's the end of the day. I've been recording a lot of Isaac today. I'm still fresh. I'm feeling, you know, invigorated. Let's try it. Strength card. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, maybe. Uh, I'm feeling invigorated, but yeah, you know, it's... I, I, I'm tempted to want the easy way out on these things right now. There we go. That's good money. We won't be able to go to our shop anymore. Oh, we didn't get any money out of it anyway. Counted my chickens before they were hatched. Uh... Several pills. Speed down. Almost took that by instinct. Not a good idea. Balls of steel. Fantastic. Telepills. You know what? We should go back for it. It's right here. You thought I was going to leave it behind. And I think we will take Liberty Cap. Uh, a speed upgrade occasionally would be nice. And we'll stick with the Strength card again. I don't really see us using it all the time. But uh, we'll use it for now at least. Or we'll, we'll find a time to use it, at least, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, let's head down. Excuse me, if we can get in here. We're right on schedule for Boss Rush. And I'm hopeful that uh, we'll be able to make that happen with the teleportation card. But if we can't, we can't, you know? I'm not going to worry too much about forcing boss rush into an archetype in which it does not fit. This really feels like, I think it's guillotine. It feels like our last run. Like, I'm, I'm waiting for Kidney Stone to, to work for us here, and it's it's not happening. Which makes a lot of sense since, uh, you know, we don't have it. But, uh, ooh, we do have access to our secret room, though. And it's given us several bombs, as well as access to something that could have paid out with a nickel, but chose not to. Now I've put us in a weird spot, because I have... Oh, we've definitely got a speed upgrade for this room. Um, I don't have a spirit heart backing us up anymore. Battery charge doesn't do much. You know what is like the triple A item for us right now? Unicorn stump. Happens all the time, but a unicorn stump pickup with us as an orbital, really, really nice. Of course, you know, magic mush, brimstone, mom's knife, etc., etc. These items all have their charms as well. Don't get me wrong, but... Um, for just, like, ease of use and, like, guarantee of victory, I think you got to be pretty excited about the chance for a Unicorn Stump here. But obviously, hasn't come to fruition yet. Okay, well, you know, there is also this. You could also just get Epic Fetus. In terms of ease of use and uh, guaranteed victory, this one's probably up there as well. Uh, it does sort of cannibalize a little Brimstone, but, I mean, like, it's not the right thing to complain about at this time, probably. You are dead. Deal with the devil. Oh, we did get a deal with the devil. And it's actually a pretty good item. And we could convert right away, but we might as well, you know, wait it out. We could again, uh, like, go to our shop on that floor. The only thing I want to do in our shop now, because this run is, like, so guaranteed, is donate. Okay, we can create some HP there. Um, I, don't, I don't really see the need to, uh, to buy something from our shop. And we've been so rude to our donation machine lately that I feel like using this... Nearly guaranteed win as a platform to donate some money is probably a sensible thing to do for our, you know, future chances. Death card. Um, well, we might as well start going this way. I'll take it. You know what? I don't think I'm going to go back for that bomb. Can't really imagine a situation in which I'm thrilled uh, to do so. Now, what do I want? Definitely... Sad bombs and cool tier effects. Like, it, I know that there's a little bit of a reputation, uh, you know, oh, epic fetus, like, turn off the video, but first off, although the last run was relatively easy, there were some times where it got slightly dicey. I don't think we want to be in this room until we have a key. Let's get out of here. Um, there were, there were a, a few times, even towards the end, where it was getting a little scary. Oh, that's the shit right there. How does this work? It's, that's not the shit right there at all. <laughs> it's, not, that's not that good. I tricked myself. That being said, I, we will take Tammy's head because it's kind of cooler. But also, there's some potential for some cool synergies. I'm hip. I'm with it. Taka 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 taka. But seriously, like it's epic fetus can have some good stuff that happens with it. But usually, it, admittedly, it is connected to D100 rerolls, so you can reroll like 12 synergies at once. But there's a chance. 
And I will admit that Epic Fetus can be a little slow as well. Even though it's effective, it's not always uh, amazing at, from a speed perspective, you know? And I just hit myself, so um, there goes our likelihood of a deal with the devil. We will go back for the item room then, because uh, it doesn't really matter if we get hit. But we're going to go after the um, boss fight anyway. But first we want to see if we get a deal with the devil. 20 cents could make our shop worthwhile as well. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, first we got the Fallen. If we get super lucky, I was going to say we might have a crack at getting a, um, a deal with the devil. But we didn't. But we also killed the Fallen in like 6 seconds flat. So, um... Now we should look for teleport cards, because we really do have a genuine chance at getting, uh... I mean, could we use Converter again? We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. Um, genuine chance at, at getting Boss Rush here. And by genuine chance, I mean, like, for real, like, 100% chance, if we want to get the Boss Rush, that we'll be able to. Uh, the Soul is totally fine. We can hold the Spirit Arts right now, it's not like any of them are being wasted. Uh... And it, it's a little bit of a... It's a positive defensive item. Worst case scenario, it's an HP upgrade. But I kind of value the souls more than an... It's an HP upgrade plus a passive benefit, I guess. So again, we could get some value out of this. But let's just donate as much money as we can. The true value is in philanthropy. Is what I've always said. That me or Bruce Wayne, I can't remember. I'm going to buy this card. I just wanted to see if maybe it could be uh, something useful. Well, um, are we going to convert? We should. We should do some, at least. Okay, great damage. Yeah, that, that seems right to me. Maybe it compromises our deal with the Devil Chance a little bit, but it also gives us HP back, which is fairly productive. Okay, I don't think I can be... Uh disappointed with this. And using Tammy's head there again is relatively inconsequential. Alright, this floor could be pivotal, or it could mean nothing at all. Let's find out. Northern Line always good about building the tension on a run. Feels like it's inconsequential at all. That doesn't really work. I was gonna say, there's our teleport card hidden over there. Really want to go to this curse room. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go to the curse room. Forget to deal with the devil. Give me the guppy items right here. Cut out the middleman. It did not work. But Gimpy did pay out. We actually could have made that work. And actually, Gimpy paid out on this room as well. And we didn't really gain much by doing that, you might say. But there was a chance that by going in, we could have also triggered Gimpy on the other side. So I do think that there was at least a, a good reason behind that. Let's try not to hit ourselves so much. You know, no matter how much HP we have, if we, you know, lose it ourselves, it's going to be tough to finagle a victory out of this one. Stomach's making some weird noises I'm not particularly thrilled with. Let's grab this. Always, like, well, not always, but oftentimes I find myself deceived by the range of uh, Epic Fetus. I'm like, that. if I was an enemy, would that have hit the enemy? I don't think so. The answer, of course, is yes, and, you know, there's just an inherent bias associated with it, but, like, uh, come on! That didn't hit me! I mean, that one didn't hit me. I'm just, you know, if you're listening at home, you might be very confused about what's going on right now. I need to start adding, like, stage directions into my videos. It's time consuming. It's a whole thing. Okay. This is, uh... Well, it's an item room. Northern Lion gestures to the item room. And it's a, uh, mob trap room. But we're not really gonna be able to take advantage of the mob trap room, uh, effects. Boss trap room. What have you. Um... Instead, we got quad shot from our item room, which is actually... Northern Lion, face palms, um, is actually really cool from an Epic Fetus standpoint. Doesn't add any kind of cool explosions. Well, it, it literally adds three cool explosions, I guess, because now uh, every time we shoot once, it actually shoots four times. But uh, we've got some, got some work to do to create cool, oh, tear effects. You know what? We don't have any work to do. The game has some work to do if it wants to charm us with some cool tear effects. There we go. Easy kill. No deal with the devil. Honestly, didn't really deserve one. Spelunker's Hat. Book of Revelations. Magic Mush. Let's do it. Let's add a little bit of fun to this run. So, I, I took Magic Mush there. I figured the double damage is going to be pretty useful for us. And, uh... 
Mainly the reason I did this is not just for Magic Mush, but it's for the promise of the item after Magic Mush. Like, Magic Mush by itself is of course awesome, but it, it's not like enough to drive me to actually do this room when we pretty much have the win regardless. But we could get something awesome after Magic Mush that maybe could be worthwhile. Enemies that are like, immune to our explosions are the most annoying, whether they go underground or, you know, whatnot. What do you got going on up there? Little Loki situation? Shouldn't try to blind fire quad shot Epic Fetus. That's probably ill-conceived. You know what? Little Brim almost finished the job for me by accident there, and I appreciate that more than you could possibly know. Oh, snap. We actually got a Tinted Rock. I didn't even know it was there. Which is awesome for us, because now we have the uh, Eternal Heart actually protected. Just keep yourself hidden in a way here. Navigated the creep as if I was Tom York himself. It is Tom York, right? The Radiohead frontman. It's not Thom York or like Thom Yorka. Because I, you know, I want to. I don't want to embarrass myself by getting it wrong in front of a lot of people. So I'll start by just asking like 60,000 of you if I'm pronouncing it correctly, and then I'll try it out on the people I actually care about. I'm joking. Believe it or not, you're, you're some of the people I care about the most in my life. I mean, I, if I saw you outside, I wouldn't know it unless you said something, but implicitly there's a connection there, I promise you. Okay, that's bad damage. And now they've gotten all the ooey gooey emotional stuff out of the way. Uh, haha, poopy fart butts, hunting, fishing, uh, sports. Back on the level here. You know what? Fuck that, man. It's it's okay to express your emotions. Are we, as a society, are we getting close to that? Like, it's okay for men to express your emotions? Like, for example, I try to express when I'm hungry as often as possible. I won't follow a society that tells me to suppress when I'm hungry. I think it's important to be like, you know what? I'm hungry right now, and I could really go for some kind of, like, chicken wing-based dish. Ideally, not a chicken wing-based dish, although that would just be impressive from a lyrical standpoint. Hunger is one of the emotions that I feel uh, the most, I'd, I'd say, on a daily basis. Famine or starvation? No, 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 not quite, but uh, a little bit of hunger from time to time. We got Strange Attractor, that was not really uh, justifying the time that we spent on it, I would suggest. Curse of the Labyrinth is also bad. Or is it? Well, it is and it isn't. I, wait, did you see that? The crosshair actually attracts enemies, so we can, like, dance with them? That's very strange. Don't really care about the bombs, honestly. Okay, so what's the what's the ticket then? How do we how do we solve this problem? Well, we keep the crosshair away from us and towards the most enemies that it can possibly hit at any given moment. But number one priority, away from us. We only need to hit with one uh, epic fetus charge to do this much damage anyway. And if enemies get close to us, uh, pop Tammy's head, and maybe you'll do enough damage to keep them away. Many of these enemies are unfortunately connected to the. F oh, you idiot. <laughs> Unfortunately connected to the floor, which isn't doing a whole heck of a lot for me in the murdering department. Come on. This is okay, there we go. We got Taurus. I forgot that we actually had Taurus. Okay, great start. Those enemies were not connected to the floor and did some serious damage to me. I appreciate it. Thanks, you really helped me prove a point about how dickish you can be. I really would like to not step on spikes. That's high on my, like, Maslow's Northern Lion Archie of Needs. The word almost works. It doesn't, but it almost does. You know, <laughs> you're being a real asshole about things here. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Papa's house. At 22 minutes, Hush is definitely on the table. We got a lot of keys, but I'm just not feeling it. Like, we we could fight Hush. We could probably beat Hush, but I just sort of, for whatever reason, not really in the mood. I hope that, uh, as I invoke that excuse fairly rarely, 
you'll accept it for now. I'm not in a bad mood, I just, you know, I'm not in a hush mood. We have a, I thought we had a secret room that we we heard, like, the sound of, but maybe not. Disappointing that we mostly ran across, uh, or exclusively ran across dead ends here, but we did, in theory, get a lot of stuff. Like, for example, in theory, that room could have contained a guppy item. In theory, this room could have contained a lot of great stuff. Oh, five spirit arts in that room, in theory. In reality, of course, that's not how it went down, but it's okay. We did see, actually, where our boss rooms are, but I'm still kind of uh, not 100% convinced I actually know where they are or how to get there, but it seems like up is a good start, as Shania Twain would say from her 2002 comeback album. Stop running into your own shots. That's like Isaac fucking introductory course. That's not even like a 101. That's like an Isaac, you must have taken this course in high school in order to apply for the university version. How? The, first off, I'm not going to the curse room. How the heck are we supposed to get up to where those boss rooms seem to be on the map? They're above this row right here. I guess we have seen sometimes, you know what, forget that room. Yeah, I was gonna say, like a little bit of elevation here. But it seems like the map is going to be real vertical compared to the norm. Well, it's, apparently this is correct, though. All right, that's dicey situation. And this appears to be the right way. Fantastic. All right, we can move on then. And we should get through these boss fights super easily. I mean, Skolex, I guess, has the potential to be kind of an asshole because he's invulnerable at certain parts. Not just of his body, but like of the fight. No, easy enough. Ay, mom's coin purse again. One makes you larger. I can see forever. One makes you smaller. And puberty. What an incredible assortment of greatness we got there. And then mom's heart. That was easy. Actually, easier than Skolex. I'm just going to head up to the cathedral. We're going to hope for the best here. As of right now, we've not really achieved that. Well, I mean, the run itself is fine. My play on it has been a little subpar, but again, as I talked about in the last run, I think it's important to have some constructive fuck-off time from time to time. But admittedly, we we had some constructive fuck-off time just on the last run as well. This We're kind of pushing it. It's like taking two years off between high school and prospective college. Like, one year off, travel the world, sure, you're young. You know, I can see the value in that two years, and it's like, yeah, you're still feeling yourself out, but at some point you gotta take the first steps on a new journey of life, right? Like, maybe you just really like playing Halo. Not that I'm speaking from personal experience here. Not a secret room, unfortunately. I would have loved for that to be a secret room, so I could have gained access to uh, the curse room, but no such luck. And honestly, boss fights are like my favorite part of the run right now, because... We usually kick asses on boss fights. It's the other rooms that can sometimes be a little, you know, not fantastic for us. But let's come down here. It's not a particularly fast run, honestly, but it is, uh... It is competent. Okay, Seraphim's good. Rubber Cement does nothing. But I guess with Tammy's head, it's not bad. And actually, with Parasite, we got some cool stuff going here. Almost enough to make me regret having taken, uh... Epic fetus, but you could really make me feel a lot less regretful about it if you just give me sad bombs. I'm not saying you have to. I mean, for, you know, Bob's Curse, that is a bomb synergy. It's a start. Maybe get some HP here, otherwise I'd be permitted out of here in two seconds flat. But, uh, you know, just a little sad bombs action. Just throwing it out there as a hypothetical. I think I was going to take damage there, so I figured, you know, why not throw uh, a little teleport action in there and see see if it works out for us. We still This enemy survived? Lots of red hearts. Thanks, uh, Gimpy, for that, I'm assuming. This looks like one of the juiciest dead ends. You know what? Tammy's head actually did a great job of protecting us there. Yep, this is just a... It's quite a wild dead end, unfortunately. Yeah, Tammy's head is actually quite functional. Now that we've got a little bit of extra love for it, you know, I, I think Strange Attractor works fine with it, but mostly it's the the parasite combined with the. Uh, where are the remaining enemies? Oh, uh, hello. Um, I think it's the parasite combined with um, rubber cement. 
that's really capable of doing a lot of damage on this one, but... We still have the enemy alive here? We will go get piercing shots. Still a productive item for us, although... Were we not... No, Tammy's head wasn't getting that already. It's just, it's kind of hard to tell because there's a lot of particle effects on the bullets right now, but... That's a start for sure. I don't know, this ends up being like a pretty blasé epic fetus, except when I hit myself like an idiot, but you know, apart from that, it ends up being a pretty blasé epic fetus run. Like, it's, I'm, it's hard to say I'm disappointed with a guaranteed win in one of the best items in the game, like, objectively speaking, but I'm kind of like, you know, get, give me that little certain je ne sais quoi. I know you got it in you. All we need is like a little extra love and then this run, especially with Tammy's head, can become amazing. Like Tammy's head is almost more fun to use than Epic Fetus right now. Let's make that our resolution here. We're gonna make Tammy's head the best it can possibly be. And I, I don't have any exercise of control over this. Mostly I'm just along for the ride, but um, it's doing a great job so far. I hit myself, well, I still hit myself occasionally, I guess, because of uh, Strange Attractor, but it feels less bad when the enemies bump into me as opposed to hitting myself with my own bomb. That's really good! It's actually deceptively good Tammy's head uh, action here. Where the heck is this last one? What in the world? How did I miss you? And also, how did I not get hit there? Okay, we're back to full HP. Uh, we shouldn't be at full HP. We should be half away, but that's it's not that big of a deal. We got another tier effect that also adds a little damage in the form of uh, Iron Bar, so I'm happy with that. But mostly, this run is, is basically destined to be over. I'm at uh, eight wins in a row. It feels good. I mean, we have to be honest. It's It's been better. It's been better very recently, but it's a good start. It's a good start on the road to consistency. We've had some zaniness. We haven't shied away from full run rerolls. I did take Epic Fetus, and I hope you'll forgive me for taking Epic Fetus, but uh, I think if we, if we try to make the reroll runs work, we earn ourselves some extra Fetus credits, some good boy points that we can use... Uh, in order to pick up an item like Epic Fetus. I think at least you may disagree. And you may agree sometimes and disagree sometimes, and you know what, that's okay too. We're all human here. Um, let's go finish off Blue Baby. This is basically over at this point. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.